Hi guys and welcome to uh, November's live chat. This is uh, food for your mood and food to release stress uh, from the body. So we're into the winter months now and people are getting a little bit tired and stressed on the run up to Christmas. Um, the seasonal disorder SAD is raising its ugly head uh, during the dark winter months and so I thought I'd do uh, you know food for your mood and releasing stress now people often um blame work the kids the wife the husband the boyfriend the girlfriend um you know time lack of sleep from making them grumpy depressed um irritable and nobody ever thinks about um that it might be something they've eaten the day before or it might be their diet and we really are what we eat so in respect to that um, it makes a massive difference to what uh, you know our mood uh, what we eat so vitamin b is our perky vitamin it's a vitamin that lifts us mentally and energy wise too so vitamin b can offer a multitude of health benefits uh, specifically mood enhancing benefits such as making you feel better and more energetic it reduces moodiness reduces irritability makes you less likely to be impatient and reduces a risk of depression along with reversing moodiness irritability impatience tension and anger and depression b vitamins may increase energy and promote a sense of well-being well i don't know about you but that sounds all well and good to me you can get all the b vitamins you need from a b complex supplement or a multivitamin now i've spoken about this several times uh, i'm a big fan of b pollen uh, which is multimineral and multivitamin and it gives you a little energy lift as well made from the buzzy buzzy bees and if you look on my website you'll find more information on that but obviously as a nutritionist i want you to eat food if you are not crazy about taking your vitamins in pill form you can choose the crazy idea of getting vitamin b from the following food sources so b1 which is also called thiamine um, really works your thyroid gland and boosts your metabolism which will make you have more energy you'll feel warmer and um, you'll feel altogether better in yourself and you can get b1 from wheat germ peas long grain brown rice lentils pork and whole wheat bread b2 is has uh, can be found in fortified cereals milk good old milk almonds and broccoli b3 can be found in tuna salmon chicken fortified cereals and peanuts b5 can be found in avocados sweet potatoes mushrooms chicken and yogurt now b6 and b12 are the ones people know the most about so b6 can be found in fortified cereals bananas salmon and spinach and b12 can be found in chicken turkey milk and eggs the other b vitamin uh, which is often not uh, put in with the b vitamin group but it is a part of it is folate which is folic acid uh, fortified cereals lentils and beans and orange juice you can find folate in and folate is very good for people who wanting to get pregnant and for those that are also uh, pregnant already so i don't know about you but that list of uh, gorgeous food there sounds pretty good to me and i can think of an array of gorgeous uh, meals that you could be making out of those b vitamins so let's just have a look here so you could make a pork stir fry with long grain brown rice um, you could be having some nice cereal with milk and almonds for breakfast you could be having a nice um, salmon uh, stir fry there with uh, uh, that will fill you up with b vitamins you could be snacking on nuts and yogurt throughout the day uh, sweet potatoes are always great in a meal aren't they and of course we've even got bananas there that you can use as a little fruit snack and my favorite of all things uh, is eggs i love eggs so you can see how you can make some really decent meals to lift your mood so i know people say well it's not that easy 
Um, you know, I get stressed at work. There's other things that we've got to think about. But food is there to help us self-heal. And it's also there to really help us with our emotions and help us with our stress. So here are a few comfort foods that work. So berries. Any type of berry is great when you're stressed. The carbohydrates in berries turn to sugar very slowly. You won't have an insulin spike which makes your blood, crush, blood sugar crash and furthermore berries are a good source of vitamin C which helps fight spikes in cortisol which is your stress hormone. The other thing that you might not know about cortisol is it's very good at laying down fat around your middle. Now some people lose weight with stress and some people gain it and you show me a person in a very high stress situation and I I'll show them a little bit thicker around the waist. You can guarantee that's what it'll do. It's a survival mechanism. So um, that's the time to chill out. It's time to use the foods uh, that God gave us to really work on uh, reducing our stress levels and our fat levels too. So that's berries. So we've got guacamole. Uh, avocados are loaded with B vitamins which stress depletes quickly. This is bad because your body needs vitamin B in order to reduce stress to your nerves and brain cells. So there you go, it goes straight to the brain, yeah? So we want, we don't want you depressed, we don't want you feeling down and we don't want you feeling tired and overwhelmed. And B vitamins really do help with that. Um, and so guacamole is an easy thing to put into your diet really mixed nuts just an ounce of walnuts will help replace stress depleted vitamin b brazil nuts give you a significant amount of zinc which gets depleted by high anxiety now this is something i see a lot of when gentlemen are wanting to get their ladies pregnant i often put them on a zinc supplement but if we're having issues i can often see that gentleman in a high stress environment or high stress job and that did depletes the zinc so mixed nuts is a great snack for the guys who are wanting to get the ladies pregnant so ladies if you're listening and and you've got a guy that you're thinking of keep that in mind almonds boost your vitamin e which helps fight cellular damage linked to chronic stress so we need to protect ourselves physically and almonds will help us do that um buy nuts in the shell use the shell cracking to help release tension i think that's quite a funny one actually you can do that if you wish but for me exercise will do it every time so if you want to release some tension get exercising oranges people who take a thousand milligrams of vitamin c before giving a speech have lower levels of cortisol the stress hormone and lower blood pressures than those who don't take the vitamin so that is how effective it is and oranges are readily available to everybody so try the oranges or try a supplement uh, when i'm particularly stressed i do turn to the supplements and they work very well asparagus this food is a great source of folic acid and it's a natural mood lightener if you put asparagus into a meal i can guarantee you will feel better at the end yeah so really try and uh, incorporate asparagus i love asparagus i think it's gorgeous now people often complain uh, that when they eat asparagus they're wee turns a bit of a vibrant colour and it smells a little bit but if you take a B uh, vitamin supplement it'll do exactly the same so it's just proving just how many B vitamins are in asparagus and then we've got good old-fashioned tea to be honest with you any tea will do for me it works well to soothe your nerves after a stressful day it's a very you know british thing to do isn't it to drink tea and uh, an irish thing as well my family are real tea bellies but it's a real uk thing to do we're known for tea here so if that's what helps you de-stress i would highly recommend it so these are just a few things uh, that you can do and eat in order to raise your mood and fight your stress. There are simple things that can be incorporated into your diet without too much hassle. 
Of course, with the stress hormone cortisol, we're looking at burning that off because really the body thinks that a lion is chasing you and that's why the cortisol stress hormone kicks in. But really, you've just got a phone call from your boss while sat at a computer. <laughs> the body doesn't understand this. So sometimes when we're very stressed, we just need to get rid of that stress and that's where exercise comes in. Now we're not looking at pummeling you, we're not looking at making the body even more stressed with exercise, but we are looking at soothing the body with exercise and you getting huffy and puffy and uh, doing a good amount of cardio will burn that stress hormone off or even doing something like yoga and pilates which is mind and body will help a great deal. So uh, I hope you enjoyed this month's live chat. I thought I'd really hit it hard here with the food for your mood and uh, working with nutrition and stress. Um, it's very effective. I've seen it work a million times over. Uh, so have a go this month and see how it goes for you. I do hope you're very well. And I hope that you'll join me very soon again in December when I will be doing another live chat. So I'll speak to you soon. Hope you're well. Drop me a line if you have any questions and I'll see you then.